Hello, my name is Hua Bing, Program Leader for Occupational Therapy. I hope to share with you my profession so that you can consider whether to join us in a meaningful lifelong career. In Singapore, our university is the only one that offers you a route to joining the worldwide occupational therapy profession. Singapore, like the rest of the world, is short of occupational therapists. In the United States and Canada, occupational therapy is ranked 19th in 100 best jobs in, to secure. Occupational therapy is an in-demand profession with rapid expansion of government-funded occupational therapy services in our hospitals and social service agencies. I read occupational therapy in university more than 30 years ago because I wanted a career that is meaningful and bring meaning to others. My own undergraduate education was transformative because I learned to become a better person and to be of service to others. Over these many years, I have worked as a practitioner in policy, education and research. I have served in health and social service sectors. It has been and continues to be a meaningful career, surrounded by like-minded individuals. Ultimately, I have found my own knowledge and skills being useful for my own family. In Singapore, the profession is defined in an Act of the Singapore Parliament, the Allied Health Professions Act. Occupational therapists assess and treat persons whose living skills are affected due to physical, mental and developmental problems so that they can return to living their life meaningfully. Hence, life skill influences. We are often considered the most holistic of health professions because our interventions focus not only on the physical, but also mental, cognitive and environmental aspects of human function. Like any established professions, our practice is complex. I can only sim simplify this complexity so that you can appreciate the essence of the profession. Simplistically, we are called occupational therapists because we are therapists to return people to their life occupations. The many things you do in your life. You do not even think about most of these life activities, such as getting out of bed or brushing your teeth. Some of these activities you cherish and some of these you plan to do at certain stage of your life. Occupational therapists help people with physical, mental and developmental disabilities to participate in these life occupations. Although we leverage on technology in our work, what I enjoy most about occupational therapy is the personal touch. The individualized interventions ensure we form deep therapeutic relationships with our patients and their families. Occupational therapy theory and practice uniquely integrate science, social sciences and art. Another way to understand occupational therapy is to see occupational therapy as fitting the person with their occupations and their environment. With this simple model, you can also deduce the knowledge you will develop during the occupational therapy program you will be able to analyse activities that make up people's occupations from a cognitive, psychological, physiological, sensory motor and spiritual perspective. You will also study sociology, our health and social systems and technology applications so that you can help craft an ideal environment for your patient. Here you see occupational therapist David using cleaning a wall to develop upper limb function after stroke. Occupational therapists use life skills to improve joint, muscle or brain function after stroke. At SIT, we will prepare you to be an effective clinician in occupational therapy's four domains of practice, mental health or psychiatric services, adult physical rehabilitation, infant and children and youth, and practice in older adults. These four domains are also where postgraduate specialization can occur. Occupational therapy theory and practice uniquely integrate science, social sciences and art. Occupational therapists are employed in many settings, including hospitals, special schools, voluntary welfare organizations, and some with their own private practice. The list on this slide is not exhaustive and you can see we work from post-burns rehabilitation 
to helping people go back to work. Some occupational therapists are chief executive officers of social service agencies. You may have read about Mr. Saka's recovery from COVID in the news. He received occupational therapy, and you can see occupational therapist Yan Ming helping Mr. Saka to regain his functional endurance and most importantly, the sense of self-determination. Not all diseases can be cured. Occupational therapy has been shown through research to improve life quality and maintain function for as long as possible in diseases such as dementia. Helping people to return to productive living is an important aspect of our work. Occupational therapists lead the Vocational Rehabilitation Program at Singapore's Institute of Mental Health. Professor Bing Lit, who is featured here with President Halima Yaakob, teaches psychiatric rehabilitation at SIT. Occupational therapists are key professionals in early intervention for infants and children with developmental and special needs. Professor Mei Lim is a faculty who specialises in this area. Two years ago, I was attending an occupational therapy congress in Japan. I attended a case presentation session presented by an occupational therapist from Hyogo Rehabilitation Hospital. She described her work with two patients with upper limb amputation, a high school student who wanted to study nursing and a child who wishes to play in the playground. Ms. Manami Ito is the high school student, is a nurse today, represented Japan in the Paralympics and also plays the violin. If you are interested, you can look up Ms. Manami Ito on YouTube and see her play violin using a prosthesis and occupational therapist help design. The other patient is a child. The child's goal was to be able to spin 360 degrees on a monkey bar in the school playground like all other children. You can see the occupational therapist making this possible in the video. As occupational therapists, we help people live meaningful lives. So our role spans from low vision, helping people with disability to drive and sexual rehabilitation. As occupational therapists, we can help to release government funding for our patients. For example, the Senior Mobility Fund or Home Improvement Fund so that people with disabilities can live independently in the community. We do not only work with individual patients, but also help in policy development or service development. Now, let's look at some unique features of SIT's Occupational Therapy Program's curriculum. SIT's Occupational Therapy Program is recognised by the World Federation of Occupational Therapists. This opens the door for our graduates working and doing postgraduate studies overseas. In Singapore, all occupational therapists must register and receive their practice certificate to practice occupational therapy. The board that regulates occupational therapy is called the Allied Health Professions Council. SIT's program is recognised by AHPC. Upon graduation, you have to fulfil at least one year of conditional registration before being supervised and assessed by an occupational therapist who is appointed your supervisor. After clearing competencies, the conditionally registered occupational therapist will then progress to full registration status. This is where studying in Singapore provides an advantage as our graduates will have undertaken most of their practice education blocks in Singapore. This helps our graduates because they are familiar with practice standards in our health and social service systems. The curriculum is sequenced with foundational sciences such as psychology and anatomy in the first year. In second year, we will cover the core basic assessment and intervention areas helping you to integrate the basic sciences. The third year on more complex practice areas and the final year will consolidate knowledge, provide exposure to some advanced practice areas and help develop clinical leadership skills. Alongside, we will develop your research skills. You will also need to go out on supervised practice from first to fourth year. Our anatomy and physiology is learned using silent mentors. People who have donated their bodies for our students' learning. An essential component of our first year 
are our community teachers who are people with disabilities. They will share with you their lives living with disabilities. You will experience their life skills such as fishing despite low vision or playing wheelchair basketball. Team-based learning is used extensively in the curriculum, helping students to be self-directed and collaborative in their learning. Our own research has also shown the effectiveness of team-based learning. Part of experiential learning is through trialling various treatment methods and activities in our laboratories. We also conduct classes at clinical centres in various hospitals, including robotics in occupational therapy at Tan Tock Seng Hospital. Here, you see students sitting a video-based computer test that assess their abilities to analyse normal and abnormal movements during daily living activities. This is to help develop clinical observation skills. A key part of the programme is to ensure graduates are competent to manage patients. So clinical practice-based exams, called OSCE, is key to assessing competency. In this slide, you see students preparing outside the consult room and then performing their procedures examined by senior level occupational therapists from various organisations. A key feature of the curriculum is the four long blocks of clinical practice education with a two-week observation block in first year. You will have to fulfil practice requirements in areas deemed compulsory by our World Federation and AHPC. This includes undertaking placements in acute hospitals to community-based services, handling both physical as well as mental health cases, and providing services to a range of age groups. Students who perform well will have the option of international placements in their third or fourth year placement blocks. Your greatest teachers will be people with disabilities, their families and patients that you meet during your clinical practice education. We will collaborate with overseas universities for overseas exposure programs, which allow students to experience classes and visits to clinical centres overseas. Here you see our occupational therapy students in two universities in Japan, Taiwan, and visiting a clinical centre in Hong Kong. We now move on to future career as occupational therapists after graduation from the programme. All new occupational therapists in Singapore have to start in clinical services, following which you can then consider career progression to research and education, administration and specialty practice. In public healthcare institutions, there are three main career tracks after fulfilling the basic clinical years. Occupational therapists can progress to health services management or clinical specialty or research and education tracks. Entering each of these tracks requires further postgraduate qualification. There is a similar structure in the social service sector, with a dedicated leadership and mentoring system under the Sunray scheme. Like all clinical professions, aside from basic pre-registration bachelor qualification, graduates can complete their masters to achieve specialty qualification. Those who want a career in research and academia can proceed to read their PhD, including performing postdoctoral studies. It is a diverse and long career runway. So what do you need to consider if you want to join occupational therapy? I think most importantly, you must be interested in collaborating, advocating and working with people. It is a very social profession. Typically, we meet people who are facing difficult moments, so this can be challenging emotionally. But ultimately, your patients will be your best teachers, so they also inspire you. So you must like both sciences such as biology, physics and chemistry and social sciences. The program places equal emphasis on both. Occupational therapy is a rewarding and meaningful career. I have been part of the profession in Singapore and internationally for more than 30 years. I still look forward to being an occupational therapist. As occupational therapists, we can have impact on individuals, populations and policy. In return, we grow and become a better person for our own families. I would like to share the journey of one of my students on where the profession has taken her. She is now an established occupational therapist through this video.
The Alberta Wall story inspired me to volunteer at the annual dive for persons with disabilities in Malaysia. I saw the benefits of diving and what it has to offer in terms of the freedom of movement and the unique experience of being able to fly underwater. Our battle world showed me that this is something that was possible in Asia, something that was made possible with the right amount of volunteers and the right mindset. That is why we set up Dive Without Barriers to promote inclusivity as well and equal opportunities for everyone of all ages and all abilities. When the first time I touched water, I in my mind, I have many worries. So I just put my trust with Alicia and the volunteers. So I just let it go and it works out well. We harness the power of stories to inspire an online audience to take action, thereby translating into social impact. We are very encouraged that Alicia was inspired by our story and started Dive Without Barriers. I'm really stoked that this happened today. I mean, we made this a possibility. This has not been an easy journey because it really took us great efforts to obtain the pool and to have a venue that would allow us accessible usage. I hope that Alicia's story would resonate with many online audiences, showing them that they can take action and contribute meaningfully as well. If you are interested and is successful in matriculating as an occupational therapy student at SIT, the senior members of the profession will welcome and help you become a successful occupational therapist. I hope to one day meet some of you. Thank you. <laughs>